Hello everybody, this is Controller Cramps. Let's talk about Hellfest, shall we? If you are one to check the review aggregate websites such as Rotten Tomatoes or Metacritic, uh, they gave it mixed reviews. Rotten Tomatoes has it at uh, 39%. Metacritic has it at 26%. But I don't listen to them. I like to judge a movie on my own while watching it, which I did. So here's my review. Uh, the film starts with a girl that is separated from her friends at a horror theme park. And uh, she gets stalked and slashed and murdered by a masked serial killer known as The Other. Although in the movie, I don't think I ever heard them name the guy, but I guess that is what the name of the guy is. He's called The Other. The serial killer. Uh, fast forward, we meet another group of friends, um, Natalie, Brooke, and Taylor. They're all uh, sort of college friends, <clears throat> and they're discussing acquiring VIP tickets to Hellfest, which is a horror theme park uh, from a guy named Gavin who happens to have a crush on Natalie. Uh, the friends arrive to the park in the mood to party, they start drinking and drugging heavily. Uh, we see the masked killer arrive wearing steel-toed boots and a different mask than we saw in the beginning section. Uh, and soon after, the group of friends begin to be separated, stalked, and brutally murdered. So, without giving too much away, pros. The, uh, the kills, this is number one, the kills, very brutal and some great gore effects. I really enjoyed the, the kills. It's probably the best part of the movie. Uh, number two, the killer. I like the way he's dressed. I like the mask. And I uh, also like the way he acquired his weapon, which you'll, you'll see in the, if you watch it yourself. Uh, at the beginning, he actually goes through a metal detector so they scan him and he doesn't have anything on him. And he it does acquire something though. Uh, so it's very cool how he got that. Um, there's a scene around the middle of the movie that we see a dozen of other park workers dressed in the exact same way as this guy, which uh, really it sort of uh, creates more tension and um, makes things uh, more interesting going forward. Because you're really not sure who, which one of them is the killer. Uh, Number three, very cool and unexpected cameo from a horror movie icon late in the film. I was very uh, happy to see that. Um, and number four, the setting. I've always had a soft spot for horror films set at amusement parks or circuses, things like that. Uh, <clears throat> a place that's supposed to be fun but can uh, quickly turn creepy and terrifying given the circumstances. So that's what I liked. Uh, cons. Number one, the characters. Did not care for the characters at all. I uh, wasn't sure, really sure what to expect. Uh, they're very one-dimensional, stereotypical college types, but this is a slasher, so that can be kind of you know, expected. Only character I slightly cared about was Natalie, who is uh, this one right here. Um, yeah number two <laughs> i just didn't like the characters at all number two the story uh pretty run-of-the-mill and uninteresting uh, at the end of the movie there is a little bit of more lore building but it's like at the very very end the rest of the movie is very run-of-the-mill it's 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 your standard slasher fare uh and then the runtime for me was a little bit short it's uh it runs 89 minutes which is almost, you know, it's almost an hour and a half, but I think they could have done with another 10, 15 minutes to kind of help build the lore and uh, get to know the characters a little bit better because the characters were very one-dimensional. So, overall, Hellfest is a serviceable slasher movie. It doesn't break any new ground. If you were an old-school slasher fan, you'll probably like this. If you don't go into watching the movie, with high expectations. Um, overall, I'd like to give this one 
a 5.5 bloody mallets out of 10. And that's about all. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a good night.